somewhere along the line, he will meet with you. This is what happened to the prodigal son. The prodigal son decided that he want to return to his father and tell the father he has sinned against heaven and against his father. And he returned to the father willingly in his own heart. And he said, I will say to him, I don't even deserve to be a son. I want to be a servant. Because he realized there are so many servants who are living a better life than him where he was living. So in deciding to go back to the father, he had that brokenness. And he went before the father and broke before the father. And when the father saw him coming in that brokenness, the father met him on the way as he was coming. As he was coming to the father. The father met him on the way. The father did not intervene when he was eating and feeding uh, with the, uh, the food that he was feeding the, 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 the pigs with. When he was sleeping, where the pigs are sleeping, the father was not intervening. The father was not there to meet him and tell him, my son, look now, you are sleeping with the pigs and I have gone home. Look now, you are eating what the pigs are eating and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and my, uh, I have a lot of things that I can, I can do to change your life. My son, why are you still eating what the pigs are eating? Why are you continuing wasting your life? No. The Bible does not tell us that. It is the son himself who started the journey. It is not God who will come first. We are the ones that we shall return to the Lord. Because it is not God who left. We are the ones who left. I say it is not God who left. It is us. And we have to return to the Lord. And on the way, as we make our effort to make things right, the things that are wrong, then our Father will meet us on the way along our obedience, not in our messes. He will not come in a place where you are not able. Doesn't matter how much you are suffering. Doesn't matter how troubled you are. Doesn't matter the weight of the problem that is weighing you down. He will not come and lift it. He is waiting for you at the point of your obedience. If I'm talking to somebody, I want to hear amen. So on the way, as you return to him, he is going to position you. We return to God, then God positions us in the right life. We return to God, and then God positions us in the right life. He heals us and sends us away to the right life. Most of the people have gone to pursue what they have lost in life when they are sick. They have gone to pursue their marriage out of the brokenness of the marriage and the wounds of the marriage. They want to pursue and get married again. They have lost a lot in business out of that pain and frustration of losses. They want to pursue business again and they want to restore the business. They have lost this or that and out of that pain they are also pursuing again to recover what they have lost. Listen to me. Even when David Ziegler was burnt and all things were destroyed and the children were taken captives and the wives were taken captives, even when people were about to stone David, David never told them, Arise, let us go. David knew the secret. He asked for an effort and when he got the effort, the garment of prayer, he entered into prayer. And once he entered into prayer and prayed and praise God and then he asked God shall I pursue them will I overtake them will I recover all and then God told him pursue them for surely you shall overtake them and you shall recover all without failure without failure the word of God came to David 
and David uh, was assured by the word that he is going to recover what he had lost. Most of us are going to pursue and you have continuously pursued what you have lost without the word of God, without the guarantee from the Lord. You have to return to him first to heal you, first to strengthen you, and then release you to the right place where you need to be released so that you can capture what you need to capture. The prodigal son, when he returned home, the father welcomed him. You can see the transition that took place. He took off the old garment, placed on him the new garment. He put on him a ring, and then he made a party for celebration. Even before he was told nothing, he was told nothing about what is going to happen. It is fast healing the son. It's fast restoring the son to the position. It's fast giving him the rightful position. When you lose, you return to the father. And then the father will position you to the place of victory. Don't pursue what you have lost. Return fast to the father. I say return fast to the father. Father, and then the Father will position you to the place where you belong. The solemn as principle of God on the solemn accounts of God is state that our salvation demands that we return to Him. You cannot have it when you are away from Him. It is our strength will come when we rest on Him, when we rest in His presence, when we have come in quietness uh, in the place of peace in the place of victory and we stay with him uh, we got connected with grace uh, we got connected with his strength uh, from there he releases us uh, to the place where he wants us to go so our father is saying return i said the father is saying return let us return to the lord i say let us return to the lord and everyone is called and this is the call you may not be very far you may be just a few steps away from where you may be you may be very far from where you should be but all of us are called to return I say all of us are called to return and they say return to me some have gone very far others have just gone away for a few miles or for a few meters away from the master but all of us there is a call of return I say there is a call of returning and we are told all of us to return some of us are seen in actions others have seen in their minds others have desired in their heart and all of them are seen before the Lord whether you did it action or you desired it or you have wished it all of them are seen before the Lord you and me, you have not come to the place of action but you desired we we are all told to return. Am I talking to anybody here? We are all called to return. And the Lord is saying, return to me. Return to me. So the call is to return. I say the call is to return. And that is where you are strengthened is in quietness, in dependence on God. And when you are able to, re, to, to depend on him and to be in confidence with him, he is going to position you to the place of glory. Now we cannot advance uh, uh, to our destiny away from the presence of God. We cannot advance uh, to our destiny destiny through the uh, away from the presence of God before we begin a journey to move to the to the, to our destiny to move to the greatness to move to fame to fame to heights higher heights we have to come from the presence I say we have to come from the presence and we have to do it from the presence so if you have lost the place of the heart of God you have lost a, a place in the presence of the Lord God is calling you to come back. I think God is calling you to come back. If you feel you are losing, you are defeated, you cannot fight for yourself. The strength that you require comes from the Lord. If you think you have power enough, the enemy is more powerful than you when you are away from the Lord. Look at what the Bible is telling us again in that book of Isaiah. Isaiah uh, uh, 30 uh, uh, verse, verse 
verse, the, 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 from verse 15 downwards, when you are using the, 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 the messenger's uh, Bible, it says this, ah, uh -huh. you have been unwilling to do, huh? you have said nothing doing, you have said nothing doing, we will rush off on our horseback. That means you feel that you are, uh, you are able to rush off from the horseback. You have the power to pursue. You have what it takes to pursue the enemy. You have what, what it takes to capture the enemy and bring him down. Look at this now. Uh, look at this. The Bible says, you rush off. All right. Just not for far enough. So we try to move, but not far enough. We try to move in our destiny, not far enough. We try to advance in life, not far enough. We try to push that matter, not far enough. So we cannot go far enough. You have said, we will ride off on the fast horses. We shall use the fast horse to run. We want to use the machinery that we have, the fast horse to run. Look at this. Look at this. Do you think you are pursuers ride on hold nuts? Do you think your pursuers ride on the hot nuts? So you think that when you are riding on the highest or the fastest uh, 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 horses, do you think you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are enemies or pursuers, those who want to destroy you, they are riding on a hot nuts? Do you think they are using, they are using donkeys when you are using horses? Uh, oh, they are powerful also. They are machineries stronger than you. I think again, a thousand of you will scatter before one attacker. So you think you are strong. One attacker is enough to draw out a thousand of you. So why? Minus God, you are not strong. He is calling you back. What made you lose first? You shall lose it the second time. But when you return to him, he will fire you up and you are no longer going to lose. I say you are no longer going to lose. Before a mere five, uh, five you will all run off. There will be nothing left of you. A black pool on a hill with no flag. A same post on the roadside with no, with the sign torn off. So you become a shadow of yourself. And that is what many of us have become. Shadow of yourself. You are not what you are supposed to be. You are not who you used to be. You are not who you are supposed to be before the Lord. Why? That strength has been cut off. That power has been cut off. I came to declare to someone this day, let us return to the Lord. I say, let us return to the Lord. I say, let us return to the Lord. I say, let us return to the Lord. We cannot become anything away from the Lord. Let us return to the Lord. Let us come close to him. That is why I our strength is. That is where our power is. Whenever they ran away from God, they were defeated by their enemies. But when they came close to God, they became victorious over their enemies. God is calling us to return back. I say God is calling us to return back. When David felt that he has been displaced, he cried. You can see Psalms 51. David was crying before the Lord. And there are so many things that he would have asked. But one of the things that uh, touches my heart about David, he told God that he should not take away his spirit from him. He should not take away his spirit from him. Number two, he should restore the joy of salvation. So the sins that David did took away the joy of salvation. Already he was not in peace. He was condemning himself. He was not happy for the mistakes that he did. So he was living in condemnation. He was living a life without peace. So he did not have the joy. Most of us have lost the joy of salvation and they don't mind it. Remember when revival comes, there shall be joy. Say amen. I say say amen. 
there shall be joy. Every time I have seen revival begin to eat a place, what begin to happen is laughter. There are, people get so free. People get so healed. People get so changed until the joy of the Lord become evident and becomes their strength. So once the joy begins to move around, then you understand there is revival. People will sing in joy. People will jump in joy. People will worship in joy. People will come to church in joy. People will want who listen to the ministers of the gospel not with the long faces like you are listening to me with joy they are putting a joyous face until you enjoy preaching to them here we have to put on a tough skin for us to be able to preach because the eyes that are looking at us we don't like to see them at all because people are looking at you like they, they don't understand what you are saying why they have been closed down by the enemy there is no fire burning from their heart to start them up for the word of the Lord. The word comes and falls in the wrong environment. There is no firing up. But once the revival begin to come, I say once the revival begin to come, there is fire up. People will begin to have laughter. Joy is the honor. Nobody is stone to smile. They begin to smile because the joy of the Lord has started to manifest in their lives. There is holy laughter in every service. There is holy laughter as people People are worshiping, and as people they are doing uh, their praises and worship, uh, there is joy that is coming from the Lord, and that is the sign that they are healing. If there is no joy, there is sickness. Where there is sorrow, is a sign of sickness. Where there is joy, is a sign of healing. Am I talking to anybody here? Joy is a sign of celebration. Are we celebrating joy? Sorrow is a sign of mourning. So we moon because we have lost. We celebrate because we have gained. So I pray and I, I want you to understand that before everything goes away, what goes away is joy. What goes away is joy. The Bible says uh, that joy has withered from the heart of men. So everything else with us. Joy 1 verse 12. You say everything else with us because the joy is with us. The joy has gone out of the heart of men. So everything with us. Now, and before return of everything, what returns is joy. That's why the Bible says rejoice. It says sing and dance, flame into dancing. You women who have been barren, who have never had children, dance, celebrate. So those dancing and celebration are called to prepare for what is coming. So if you have lost your joy, you need to claim it. You lose your joy before you lose your throne. You lose your joy before you lose your strength. You lose your joy before you lose your wealth. So that is what David noticed and noticed, I have lost the joy. So he said, oh God, restore to me the joy of salvation. So it's the joy of salvation. Hello? Praise the name of the living God. Many people in churches today, they are not happy. They are not born again. They come with the stress. They go with the stress. That shows there is no life of God in the church. Verse can you look at your face? Can you? I, I wish I had a mirror I would have given you. All of you a mirror and you look at yourself and look at how you are looking. Do you look like you are in the presence of God? It is just, I see one person there. It's the one that is at least trying to keep a smile alive. Others, you look like, like you are already in a mooning tone when I am talking something that is supposed to change you and cheer you up. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. So David noticed something is wrong. I am not in peace. I am not enjoying this. He told God, restore to me the joy of salvation. And then he said something and something very powerful. He did not tell God, don't denounce me. Don't take me away from the throne. Don't demote me. Don't take away my worthy. Then he said, approach me with your righteous right hand. And then he said something very powerful that don't take away your spirit from me. Do not take away your spirit. He valued the spirit of God more than anything else. Because the spirit of the Lord is that releases the life of God in you. He valued that. He valued the spirit of the Lord. And he said, don't take away your spirit from me. Don't 
take away your spirit. Let your spirit be with me. Let me be having your spirit. So he knew, he knew. By that moment, the spirit had never departed. He knew the spirit was still with him. But something had gone. The joy had gone. The joy had gone. And he said, restore to me. Restore to me that joy. And David understood the concrete heart, the broken heart, the broken spirit, the concrete spirit, that the Lord will never despise. He knew once I come with a broken spirit, once I break before my father, once I break before God, he will not tell me to go away. He will not kick me out. So we need to return to our God. If I'm talking to somebody, I want to hear a man. I say we need to return. Our enemies are powerful, but they are not as powerful as our God. So we need to return to our God. And our God is going to position us in a place of greatness and in a place of happiness. Say amen. So when we return, we shall be healed. We shall be healed. Most of us are, are wounded. Wounded by failure. Wounded by betrayals of friends. Wounded by the ones that you have harmed from your enemies. Wounded by, by frustrations of life. By failed Attempt to progress. All those things, they have wounded your life. They have wounded your life. They have made you feel that you are wounded. And some of us are torn. They are torn apart. They are torn apart. You feel you are in pieces. You are not in yourself. You are not the way you are supposed to be. And God says, he will heal you. Hallelujah. He will heal you. So he has the power to heal the torn people. Those who are broken into pieces. He has the power to heal you. Can you give me on NIV? NIV, the same line. The same line, verse, verse 1. On NIV, 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 and now in full screen. NIV. Let us return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces. So you can be in pieces. But he will heal us. So it doesn't matter how failed you feel. It doesn't matter how far you feel that you are displaced. He will heal you. He will gather your pieces of life together. I say you will gather the pieces of your life together. He will gather the pieces of your life together. And bring you together. In one piece, it will make you all again. He has the power to make you all again. But he will heal us. He has injured us. So sometimes the injury is what we go through is not from anyone else. It's from God. He has injured us. Or he has allowed us to be injured. But he will bind up our wounds. He is ready to treat us again. I want you to know this. Even a young lion can become weak and die because of a little hood on his claws. When the lion has hurt his foot and there is a thorn inside there and nobody is there to remove it, he cannot hunt out of that. He will become weak and weak and weak and out of the little challenge, from the opponent or little challenge well, from others or from any other source, he will collapse. He cannot fight. He cannot hunt. So, it applies to us. You may be very strong, but a very little hood can disqualify your life. A very little hood, a very little thing that you allow in your heart, a very little unforgiveness, a very little despise, a very little long, wrong imagination in your life can shut all your systems down and with time you become weak. So God is saying, let us return to him. When we return to him, he will take care of all our wounds. All the wounds we have in our heart. All the wounds we have in our lives. All the wounds that we have been carrying. We cannot be in the presence of God and return, uh, maintain those wounds. They are healed. I pray that God will abide you all your wounds. And he will heal 
how your wounds as he has promised. Am I talking to anybody here? Then he says, after two days, he will revive us. After two days, he will revive us. After two days, he will revive us. So, he takes us to himself. He heals us. And then after two days, he revives us. And on the third day, he will rise he will raise us up that we may live in his sight. So there is raising up or being restored on the that day he will raise us up that we may live in his sight. So we are revived. We are revived. After we are revived then we are what? Raised up. We are raised up or we are restored. After we are revived we are restored. After we have been revived, we are restored. And restoration takes place in the third day. But revival happens in the second day. Am I talking to you? I say on the second day or after. This is the right term. After two days, I am going to revive you. I am going to to revive you after two days. We are beginning our revival series today. So uh, today and tomorrow he says he is going to revive us. And on the third day, that is on Friday, he is going to restore us and make us live in his sight forever, in his presence forever. Dead men don't live in the presence of God. It is only revived men. If you die, God is not the God of the dead. He is the God of what? The living. So he will be with you because you are alive. If you are dead spiritually, you are not going to be close to him. But when you are alive spiritually, he is going to be close to you. I pray that somebody will desire revival. Say amen. I say somebody will desire revival. That you shall be revived. You shall also desire to rise up. To rise up or to be restored. That we may live in his sight. And then he says, let us know. Let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. Let us know. And let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. Is going forth. Is established as the morning. Is going forth. Is established as the morning. It will come to us like a rain. Hallelujah. So there is us coming to God. And there is God coming to us. Am I talking to you? There is us returning. And when we are returning, it is not noticed. Malila kota saki tuluba. When we return, it is not known. But when he comes, he comes like a rain. He comes like the rain. When it rains, we know it has rained. You cannot hide. When it rains, it rains. And you will see the evidence of the rain. So he says, I, you will come like the rains. So his coming to us cannot be hidden. How going to him may be secret, may be private, may be not known, may not attract a lot of attention. But when he comes, everybody must know that the Lord has come. When, he, when you are going, they don't know. But when he comes, they must know that he has come. When you are visited, when he has come to your life, when he has come to your family, when he has come to your destiny, everybody he must know that the Lord is and the Lord has come. I will come to us like the rain, like the latter and the former rain to the earth. So it is he is raining the two rains in the same season. That is a must you understand there is an impact. So when you return he will come. Hallelujah. And he will come. And I want to assure you, is coming forth is established as the morning. It cannot fail. It's coming forth is established like morning. Tomorrow we know there shall be a morning. We know it is established. It should not fail. So it will come. How many of you know tomorrow there will be a morning? 
You know it is established. It is there. You will see it. And it is there. It is prepared. That is how certain we are for the manifestation of God in our lives. We are so sure if we return to him, our hoods are yielded. And the, that day we are raising up, then his coming is established. He cannot come and pour anointing on dead men, on people who cannot take up the capacity to carry. He releases to you because you are ready to carry. He cannot give the new wine to the old wine skin. You must have a new wine skin for you to receive the new wine. So he is releasing the anointing. The anointing for the end time is for the prepared men and women. I say the anointing for the end time. It's not for the old vessels. It's for the new vessels. The vessels who have returned to the Lord. The vessels who have faced uh, regeneration. The vessels that have been renewed by his strength. By his power in his presence. In the presence of the Lord you are renewed. I say in the presence of the Lord you are renewed. And the power of the Lord becomes great to the people who have already been renewed. I want you to understand when we are talking about revival, we are talking about revival. Revival in, uh, is to, to release life. It's to release life. It's to release life. When you are released, you are given life. You can no longer continue in your status. You rise up. If you are dead and you receive life, you stand up. And you begin to walk. If you are fainted and you receive life, you begin your journey. And you begin to move. So it is refreshing, reviewing uh, or releasing life. Renewal or releasing of life. So we are renewed. We can use this term to describe revival so that people can understand it in a simple language. We, we, I say it is acceleration of conversion process. Acceleration of conversion process process. In other words, instead of you being uh, changed, changed within a week, you take seconds, you change, you become that man. Instead of you taking a year to do that thing, you do it within a week because there is a power that has accelerated the change, has brought you into that power. And that is revival. Revival is the solution to every crisis and every problem we are facing in this world. When the revival comes, we will know the fake and the true. When the revival comes, you will see manifestation of God like you have never seen. And people will come to God. They will run for help. They will come to him because they are convicted. Early in the morning, they are worshipping. At night, they are worshipping. These days it's very difficult to bring people to the presence of God. Why? They are dead. And they fear the dead cannot stay in the presence of the Lord. They want to run away because they cannot tolerate what the Lord is doing because they are not ready for it. But once you become alive in the spirit, I say once you become alive in the spirit, you begin to have sensitivity and longing for the spiritual thing. And that is what the church is, fight, uh, is lacking. When revival comes, it comes with the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. I say revival comes with the fear of the Lord. And it is the fear of the Lord that brings people to the place of miracles. It is the fear of the Lord. It is the fear of the Lord that brings people to the place of miracles. If you want to be mir to see miracles, first there must be the fear of the Lord. When the fear of the Lord covers the heart, when the fear of the Lord covers the church, then miracles will become the order of the day. Why don't we see miracles? Because the way we ought to see them, because there is no fear of the Lord. When the fear of the Lord comes, then you will be able to be able to see miracles happen like you have never seen before. Another thing, revival fires you up for action. It fires you up. So you yourself, you are fired up. You feel you are fired up. You carry the fire. You hear the fire is on you. You are burning. You are burning. You are fired. And you want to pray more. You want to preach more. You want to sing more. Revival when it has come. You cannot preach for, to people for long. You cannot preach for people or to people for long. We, we, within few months. Because they are fired up. 
they get that fire. And the fire will begin burning around. Miracles will start to happen now. Things will start to change. But when there is no revival, you can preach many hours to, before these people try to get fire. You can see the, 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 the wet fire hood. When you're trying to go to, 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 to set it on fire, you suffer a lot. But the dry fire hood, when you just light it, how within a very short time, there's a big fire burning there. That is how the church is supposed to be. Materials that are ready to burn the fire. Materials that are ready to go with the fire of God. And they move without fire. They start getting fired up. They don't keep quiet. You cannot stay somewhere with the sinners. You feel like preaching to them. You feel like showing them Jesus. You meet yourself this corner. The other one is in that corner. This is standing with this. The other one is standing with this. The people are washing cars. You stand with them. You are preaching to them. You are telling them the gospel. The people are walking on the way. You as you walk, you are preaching to them. You are, you are telling them all of a sudden you stand with a brother. You look him at him. You see this needs salvation. You go in a corner with him. You start telling him, Jesus loves you. I can pray for you. A God can do this. Fire! All over gospel everywhere, preaching everywhere on the streets, in the uh, on the matatus, everywhere you see brothers, they are saying what the Lord is doing. Testimonies is the honor that comes when people gather in the church, they are just celebrating the works of the Lord. What God has done, the way they are moved, what God has done, miracles have worked today. You tell those people in the church, go and win the souls, they come empty, they don't go, they don't even attempt. Why they are dead man. And what we need is revival. If you are fired up, you will start after this service. When you are fired, you start going to places where people are sitting and they are doing nothing. And you start telling them, Jesus loves you. Jesus saves you. And you said, but when without fire, without the fire, you cannot do that. Your fellowship ends with you in the church. You don't carry your Bible anymore. You don't read your Bible anymore. And you stay like that. When people are like people, like Peter, like James, like others, look at us in the church, they wonder what kind of people are we? What kind of people are we? we which spirit has filled us? Which word do we read? Which Bible do we stand in? Who is our Lord? And they cannot understand what kind of believers are in this world. And I pray that we come out of that class. I say we come out of that class and become believers who are set on fire. I say we become believers who are set on fire. That we are carrying revival and we are turning that returning to God. Psalms 50, 57, verse 4. It is very clear. I want us to look at it as I finish. Uh, Psalms 57, verse 4. And this should be your portion and should be your desire in your life. Say, man. My soul is among the lions. You are not supposed to be among the dogs. Uh, you are not supposed to be among the dogs. You are supposed to be among who? The lions. My soul is among the lions. So you are not supposed to be among the dogs. You are supposed to be among the lions. Lions, they roar. I say lions, they roar. When they roar, everything changes around them. They roar under the forest trembles because they are the kings of the jungle. You are supposed to be among the lions. I lie among the sons of men who are set on fire. You are not supposed to be among the sons of men who do not have fire. Move out of the sons of men who do not have fire. I say move out of the sons of men who do not have fire. Desire to have the fire. I say desire to have the fire. I say desire to have the fire. I shall desire to have the fire among the sons of men who are set on fire, whose teeth are spears and arrows. So the sons of men who are set on fire, they don't have teeth, they have spears. They have spears and they have arrows. Their teeth are weapon. Their mouth is full of weapon. And whose tongue is as sharp 
sword. The tongue itself is a sword. And the teeth they are themselves pierce and harrow. These are the sons of men who are set on fire. And they don't stay in darkness. They don't stay in the place where there is no praise. Because they know God dwells in the midst of the praises of his people. That is why it reckons in verse 8. Arise, O oh my dawn. I will awaken my dawn. Awake my dawn. Awake my dawn. Come on, take me there quickly. Oh, Shaki, Tarala, Kata. Verse 8. You just, just, just. Awake my glory. Hallelujah. Awake my glory. So their glory cannot sleep. They awake their glory. They awake your glory. Your glory can be asleep because you are not on fire. I said your glory can be asleep because you are not on fire. Your glory can be asleep because you are not on fire. Ah, oh, we need to change our batteries. There are so many messages. There are so many things we can do. But when better is low, it is low. You cannot use your phone. And in other words, you say it is dead. What is dead? Power. So when you don't have power, you are also dead. I say when you don't have power, you are also dead. It is time to recharge. I say it is time to recharge. I say it again. It is time to recharge so that you carry power. There's so much in you that you cannot do because your glory is asleep. Let your glory wake, awake, awake the loot, awake the arm. That is praise. Awake my praise. That you are not forced to praise. You know you don't go and us in the praises of these people. Revival comes with the praise. I say revival comes with the praise. When they are bringing the ark of the covenant in Jerusalem them. David danced uh, until his garment came down uh, and uh, the wife uh, who never changed her title from her father's uh, uh, laughed at David despised David uh, as David was dancing. David never remembered that he was a king uh, because God he began to dance uh, till his attire kingly attire fell off and he never collected. The woman never turned to the meeting despised David and David said it is God God, that made me the king, not your father, that I was dancing before. And those maidens that you say they despise me, they shall own me in honor. So David went to praise because the heart has come. There is no praises in churches. People are very cold. People are very bowed. Before you make them jump, you have done a lot of work. Before you make them clap their hands, you are tired. Before you tell them celebrate, you are tired. You you must put every effort. You must make it artificial. You must become a comedian and try to make them jump. Why? They are deadlocks. They are marionettes. I pray that you come out of that deadlocks. I say you come out of that deadlocks. And they say, I would awake my dawn. I would awake my dawn. Let your dawn awake that you shall no longer be in darkness. I will awaken the dawn. I will awaken the dawn. I can no longer stay in darkness. I can no longer continue crying. I can no longer continue mourning. I will awaken the dawn. Let the praise of the Lord return. Let the glory return. Can you stand and tell God, revive me? I need fire. I need the fire of revival. And I want serious men and serious women. Who are telling God, set me on fire. I return to you. I am sick and tired of religion. I am sick and tired of religion. I want to be with you. I want to be with you. I want to be revived. I want to be revived. I say, I want to be revived. Can you lift up your voice and tell the Lord to revive you? Tell the Lord to send this revival. Ah, you return to the Lord. If you are sick, tell him, heal me. Heal my wounds. Ah, heal my heart.
heart. Hear my spirit. If you are full of unforgiveness. Ah, this is not the prayer to pray as you try to swallow word. These are the prayer you burst and talk to God. Not religious things that you are used to do. You change and you call God. Let your voice be heard from the sanctuary. Let your voice be heard from the sanctuary. Let your voice be heard from the sanctuary. You are among the lions. You are among the sons of men who are set on fire. Whose teeth are spears and arrows. La pacato sintal. Makato sakata rikata. Whose tongue is a sharp. Sword, the sharp sword is what is in your mouth. It's not a tongue. Awake your glory. Awake your glory. Awake your praise. Awake your praise. Awake your dawn. Awake your dawn. Awake your glory. Awake your glory. Awake your praise. Awake your praising equipment. Awake, 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 awake. Awake, awake. Awake your glory. Awake your praise. And awake your dawn. Refuse to be at dark. Refuse to continue to walk in darkness. Come on, awaken your life. Shake whatever is shakeable. Change whatever needs to be changed. Refuse to be dead. Let him send his spirit in your life. Let him send his power in your life. Let him send his spirit in your life. Rub. Back con ti vilicota, riba cataya saca, rama. Kanta raba, raba kanta, raba kantoa, raba shakata, raba kanta raba, la shakata, raba kantoa, rakato shikita, rama kanta sakata, raka shakata, rimishinti rila kata, rakata shakata, raba kanta raba kota, rashikoto raba sha, raka shakata, rama shanta raba. Kata Rapa Katise Kota Rakata Santa Rabba Shala Rabba Kanta Rabba Shakata Rabba Kanta Rabba Shota Rabba Kanta Rabba Shukota Rakanta Sakata Rabba Shota Rabba Kotoro Kota Sata Rabba Shola Rabba Kanta Rabba Shakata Oh God, release your revival, release your revival, release your revival, release your revival. Release your revival. Let there be a great move. Let there be a great move. Rakata Yashila Katoa. Fire us up, O Lord. Fire us up, O Lord. Fire us up, O Lord. Fire us, O Lord. Rakata Saka. Let us be among the lions. Let us be among the lions. Let us be among the lions. Let us be among the sons of men who are set on fire. Baptize us with fire, Lord. Baptize us with fire. Let us be fiery. Let the tongues of fire come upon us. Lord Shakitu. Alani de Kitaya Abakoa. Makanta Ranakoa. Riba Kanta. Arashika Tarana. Mashaka Taya. Riba Kata. Rabba Katola. Shanta Rabba Kata. Rabba Kanta Roro Shakata. Rabba Kata Sakata. Oh God, we return to you. You have been. Injured us, you have afflicted us, you have smited us, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Heal us, Lord. And revive us, God. And revive us, Lord. We return to you, Father. We return to you, our God. We return to you, our Maker. Oh, heal us, God. Revive us, God. We have been broken in pieces, God. Heal us, God. We have been wounded, Lord. Bind up our wounds, O God. And revive us, God. And revive us, Father. And send your revival. Send your revival. Send your revival. Send your revival. 
la kato shakata ma shakata la kato la ma kanta la kata la 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 kanta sakata la bakata let your spirit of God who gives life release life to us the spirit of release is fire it is fire and to us let us be fired up la bakanto la lo shakita ya in Tayaba, in Tayaba, ba ba ba, rapaka toro ba ba ba, rakata sakata. Whatever you are, lift up your hands and you mean it, and you mean it from your heart, and you mean it, and you mean it from your heart, and tell God, revive me, release your fire, release your fire, and be serious, and be serious as you pray that prayer, and tell God, I don't want to be a lukewarm Christian, I don't want to be a cold either, I want to be a person on fire, I want to be fire. I want to be fiery. I want to be fiery. I want to be fiery. Set me on fire. Set me on fire. Let me consume the work of the devil. Let me destroy. Let me become a life wire. Let me become a life wire. When the enemy tries to touch me, let them be God shock all their lies. Let them, let them be consumed. Let me carry that fire. Let me carry that fire. Let me carry that fire. Mean it. Mean it. As it was in the day of Pentecost. Let the fire come upon you. Let the fire of God come upon you. Let the fire come upon your life. Let the fire come upon you. Call for fire. Call for fire. Everybody, whatever you are, call for fire now. Fuck. Call for fire, call for fire, call for fire, call for fire, call it Rakantola, Rakatala, Mashikatala, Rakantala, Rakantashala, Rakantaya, Rakatala, Rakantaya. Come on, ask for fire. Some of you, you are just praying a normal prayer. I say, in you ask for fire, you ask. God to fire you have to release his fire on you that you will not be anointed by passion. You are done. You will not continue to sleep. To sleep. You are done. Must wake. Your glory must wake up. Your praise must wake up. Lo sanda la katola la la bakata makanta katola katoa shakita rabaka tola rabaka tala rakanta rakanta. In Tayala, in Tayala Baka, in Tayala Bala, thank you for your revival, Lord. Thank you for your revival, God. Thank you for your revival, Jesus. Thank you for your revival, God. Set us on fire. Set us on fire. Set us on fire. Set us on fire. If you feel you want more fire, come running to the heart. You feel you need more fire. You need more fire. I don't want people having second thoughts. If you do, you have a second thought, stay where you are. I, I feel to pray with a passion of here. I need fire. I need fire. I, I want to be among the lions. I cannot be among the dogs. I want to be among the lions. I want to be among the lions. I want to be among the lions. I want to be among the people who are set on fire. I want to carry the fire. I don't want, I don't want to be ordinary. I want to be stand up. I want to be stand up. I want to be stand up. And, and, and I want the fire. Like that came on the day of Pentecost. I don't want to be ordinary. 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 If you have come, you come with humility and you are ready. You come with the brokenness and you are ready. You come with the brokenness and you are ready and you are ready to receive it 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 tontoroba kata makanto rolosha hey makanto rola kata Somebody who wants fire. Somebody who wants to be burned to come out of the flesh with fire. Somebody who can't. 
one to carry the fire, not, not to be religious, not to be religious, but to carry the fire, to carry the fire, to carry the revival 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 fire. Lama! Kata sakata rabakata rama shakata among the sons of men who are set on fire. You are telling God, set me on fire, 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 lakata. Sakata, Rabakato Sakata, Rima Shakata, Rabakanturu Ashaka, La Pakaturu Bashata, Hey Shakata Raba, let the fire of revival, fire, 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 come upon your life, come upon your life. Shakata Raba Baba, ba. La Kanta Sakata, Rakato Sekita, Rebakata, revival. Revival fire, revival fire, fire of revival, fire of revival, fire, fire, revival fire to come upon your rakata sakata, revival fire, rabakata sokota, rabakata sakata, revival fire, fire of revival to come upon your rakata sakata, fire, 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 be fired up, be fired up, be fired up. Be fired up, be fired up, Shakata Rabababa show. Be fired up, 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 Shakata Rabababa, be fired up. Shukotorolala, Rakantaya, Rabakata Raba, Rakata Shakata, the fire come upon your life, fire. Raba kato shakatoha rama shada raba kanta raba kata let fire 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 be released upon your life rasha kata raba kata rakata fire 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 to be released upon you upon your revival fire revival fire la kanta sakata let the fire fire again fire 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 Shakata Raba, La Cantaya, La Bacato Ruba Sara, La Bacanto Shakata, Rabba Catola, Shanta Raba Basha, let the fire, fire come upon your life, fire, revival, fire, come upon you, revival, fire, revival, fire, Rakata, Rama Shakatoa, Rabba Canta, La Cata, let fire, 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 fire. Shakata Rababa, Mashakatoha, La Makanta Rabakatoha, let the fire of revival burn in the heart, burn in the heart, burn in the spirit of your people. Lord, release fire now, Rabakata Sakata, revival, revival, release fire, 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 revival, fire, revival, fire, Shantaraba. Makatululaba, mashaka tarababa, mashaka tarababa, rabakata. From wherever you are, tell him to fire you up. Tell him to fire you up. Tell him to fire you up. To release more fire. To release more fire. To release more fire. To release more fire. That you carry fire. You carry fire. You carry fire. You carry fire. Lakata, you be among the sons of men who are set on fire. Sons of Man, who are set on fire? Who are set on fire? Rakata sakita, mashaka tolulululah, mashaka taralalalah, rapakata rabakata, rakata santa yalakata. Among the sons of men, among the sons of men, who are set on fire? Who are set on fire? Among the sons of men, who are set on fire? The man who are set on fire. So I. Fire upon your life, 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 upon your life. Be among the sons of men, the sons of men who are set 
on fire. Who are set on fire. Rabba kataraba. In Taraba Baba, Rabba Kanto Shokotoa, Rabba Kataraba Bashoka, Rama Kanta Rabba Shakatoa, Rakataya, Rabba Kata, Lama Kanta Shakataya, Rabba Kanta Rabba Kotaya. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, God, thank you, King of Kings, thank you, Lord of Lords, Rabba Kato Rabba Shakitai, Mashakata Rabba Kotai, Remekantaya. Thank you, Jesus, for releasing your fire under the lives of your people. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, our online church, desire that you are set on fire from wherever you are. You are set on fire, that you will be among the sons of men who are set on fire, whose teeth hull, arrows and spears, and whose tongue is a sharp sword. These are the men who are able to waken their glory, waken their praise, and awake their own dawn. And I pray that you will be among them. Return to the Lord, and He is going to return to you. And your life is going to change in Jesus' mighty name. If you have been lost, now you want to return back. Tell Him, Father, I am a sinner. I return back to you. Forgive my sins and sanctify me with your blood and make me yours and use me for your own purpose. In Jesus' name, I am now born again and forgiven. Amen. Thank you very much for praying that prayer. And I believe now God has hand you, has changed you, and has transformed you. Tomorrow we continue uh, on this revival week. And we are focusing on revival and recalling back the fire of God to the church. And I believe you are going to be blessed. Tune tomorrow also and you are going to be blessed. God bless you and God continue to do you good. Let us appreciate our online church with a shout from the king's house. The Lord bless you and the Lord continue to do you good. In Jesus a mighty and wonderful name. Say amen. Say amen. I want us to stand up. Stand up. Stand up for a while. Stand up for a while. Can you can you have a few one or two minutes to pray on what you have received? Can, can, can you can you put it in flame with with just a few few ones of prayer? Put on flame what you have received. Put on flame what you have received. Begin to give it direction through the ones. Begin to give it direction through the ones. Through the ones. Begin to direct. To direct what you have received. Begin to direct what you have received. Begin to direct what you have received. Begin to direct what you have received. Rakata Santa Rabba Shakata. Mama Karo, can you come here? Labindo Lakata. Mama Karo. Come here. Rabba Kata Rabba Kotoa. Shanta Rabba Kato Robo Zaki Tiri Bakata. Rama Shakata. You are now, now moving to the next. Level of your glory. Shanta rabakato la kata rabakata rabakata rabakata. Let the breath of life, let the breath of life, let the breath of life come upon you that will usher you into the next, 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 next level, and none will stop you. Rakata. Mashikita, Ramashakata, 